Hello and welcome to Patch. I'm your host Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matto Phillips and Damo Camilleu. How are you, gents? I'm cold. He's gone. <laughs> You're cold. I'm cold. I can... I'm not, probably not as cold as you. Oh, I don't man, know if the camera can pick it up. If I can actually... Man, live from me secret shed. Secret lair. I thought, we, I thought we said no to lair. It's or it's, dungeon. Yeah, good point because it's, <laughs> it's it's real creepy for a teacher to have those. Good point. Um, he has a dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this so, is where I take all the mass problems. <laughs> Damo has been gone for a week, but he's come back just in time for the patched updates for the month. So. We discuss all the shit we've been playing, and Damo, I reckon you're the best person to kick things off. I at least know one oh, of the games. Oh yeah. Do you I have much? to do some research for this one. But yes, I have a little bit, but I'm going to go into depth because I want to be that person that actually, uh, actually talks about <laughs> what I've been doing. So I will talk about. I don't know. Wait, what am I going to talk about? Okay, I'll go back. Go all over the show. Go back, go back like a month, thirty days. <laughs> Walk I played, with me. I maybe played, thirty-one. I played well because thirty. All right, we'll just we'll just give Damien a health update first. So I got gout, which oh, is shit. the king's disease. Right, brilliant. And you know how you get gout from drinking alcohol, Tomato. eating lots of red meat, not not exercising a lot. Right. All I've been doing for the past two years is not eating re- much red meat. I don't drink alcohol anymore. And anyway, Jeez, so man. I got the kings to see because, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, obviously, uh, obviously we'll work out. No we'll pressure here the doctor. from Matt Aldo. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll work it out. Wow. Well, right? I, I fit like one of, one of those three. Yeah. <laughs> All that red meat, eh? Um... Well, is but, it or is it not? But so it came at a perfect time though, because Monster Hunter Rise had its version three update from well, that's just in yeah, the last few days, yeah. Title three. So I was like, Oh cool, I'll give this give this a go. And I haven't played many Monster Hunters, so I've played Try and World and so I never got to play against one of everyone's one of favorite elder one of Oh, this is one the one of from people's Ultimate, most right? favorite. Uh, oh, sorry, generations. Elder, Elder dragons, and that is Veltrax, the jet-powered monster flying. I'm gonna fly up and bomb the shit out of the area. And so, as being a professional player, I did the first thing, best thing possible. Bum rush. Tried it. a new. I tried a new weapon on the thing with the, oh. with the team people. And I beat this shit out of it. I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Go, go Lance. Oh, you but went unfortunately, Lance. okay. Lance's like guarding thing does shit all against its ultimate, like, hey, up in the air. It's seriously, it goes up. It flies around in a circle and then it just comes down like a shooting star and blows the shit out of everyone. It's incredible. It's awesome. Like fighting that monster, grouse. It's armor and everything like that. Absolutely brilliant. And so I was like, oh, cool. Uh, I had no idea. So I've just been watching a lot of videos of people and they're like, yeah, no, no, seriously, this is almost busted. Like, play as you might. And the armor looks freaking sweet. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so I also, should get into takes... this 3.0 and get this armor as quickly as I can, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. But it requires, I, I think it requires, no, they won't be able to. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, they can. But then it would legit takes away all the like. I mean, once G rank comes, which I think would be in two title updates times or whatever, because they're really hammering things home because people are just plowing through the content. Um, but you've also got Apex Zenerga, which is really cool. Apparently, that's a, a. I don't know what everyone calls it. It's not known as Apex in any other game. It actually it's like Golden Glow or something. It's yeah, I've noticed a lot of those Apex ones do have that kind of goldish sort of tinge to them. Well, yeah, no, this one, like, because, you know, uh, there's Stygian Zenerga or something like that from World, which was a dragon-based one. This is just, like, ultimate. This is, like, Super Saiyan, like, Rajang kind of levels of things. 
And I was really Fucking like, Rajang. Oh, but they didn't do it. So Rajang still hasn't had his furious form and stuff like that. So I'm really interested to see where the hell things are going with this game. This thing. Uh, do you think we're going to get the... like a an Iceborne equivalent? You like a big DLC, not just a. Oh, yeah. You, you think we'll yeah, get that no. sort of expansion hands, at some point? Hands down. The story after you beat Nawa the All Mother, I think that's what it's called. Nawa the Which yeah. is basically Nawa just the two the elder Mother. dragons combining, from what I could tell from the trailer. Yes, and somebody actually pointed it out. They they proved that that was what was going to happen in like a video months ago. I mean, like it seemed, after a thing, they just they just kind of no because it was like, well, there was the, the thing though. Like they looked up, they looked up. Well, I mean, yeah, but like you could have had a child. But he was like, mm, no, yeah, according to what like the creatures are kind of based on, they do eat their, they do eat their lovers after they mate. So, you know, you beat one of them, it's going go way down. too far. It, it's it's abushi, whatever. I thought we're about. Is. I thought we're all about hunting monsters, not watching them fuck. So you, say, you is this a David Adam <laughs> It's a giant hole, and then you jump down said giant hole, and it's like, oh, wow, Sounds like, what the so, fuck so, so what you're trying to say is that you, in fact, do the fucking. Yes, Paul, we <laughs> fuck monsters, and we fuck them really good. <laughs> fuck the fucking just, yeah. I hope the people that are listening to this while they're driving their cars <laughs> pull over and vomit from your... <laughs> or even if they're doing the school shit. run. Oh, so, run. Sorry to envy kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh my ah! god! I'm like, these kids play Monster Hunter, but um, all yeah, this, this it, podcast ever also, again. Just park the car over and just throw the phone out. There's advanced, <laughs> there's advanced quests. There's some great new uh, skills. You can layer your rampage weapons. Um, there's a whole bunch of new weapons that are completing the trees, which is great. Uh, there's a new ending. There's more DLC. Uh, you can pay for, which I'll touch on. There's a bunch of patches. Uh, apparently, the hand me down sword is given to you that was terrible. Now has 40% affinity. Hand me down sword. Phenomenal. Yeah, the guy gives you a sword. It's called the hand me down sword. And if you upgrade it, people are like, well, thank you, trash sword. But I remember being like, given a sword in, in the main campaign, but I don't. I never used it. Yeah, it's is a that long the same sword. one though? Like it was part of the yeah. that campaign one. Yes. Yeah. So they they boosted that sword because I think people like they were like, oh, yeah, we probably didn't realize that people would just play I don't know any other weapon that is better. Um, yeah, it's so like oh cool a long sword. Well, I'm going back to keep uh, to using the hammer and moved on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even the hammer, like oh, um, yeah. So that was that was it. I wanted to talk about that in major detail because I think that if you are playing the game this is a great time to again jump back in plenty of stuff to do and plenty more stuff to come so you know that was one of the things for me is like you know finishing the main game and obviously finishing it before the game came out and then kind of realizing there was a bit of a brick wall there saw what they were announcing for you know for 2.0 and they kind of teased what was coming for 3.0 I'm like I don't know there's necessarily and you can uh, confirm or deny since you actually played 2.0 before 3.0 came out um I looked at the yeah. 2.0 content and thought, eh, it's not enough for me to justify coming back now. Whereas if I go back at 3.0, I can kind of enjoy both. I don't know, yeah. maybe just the I mean, amount of me, content. For me, for me, it was just like, oh, okay, if I knock out all the 2.0 stuff, I can actually have sets good enough to take on 3.0 because yeah. it is the, that level. I know what Monster Hunter is like. Like, it's just like, oh, oh, oh. and you're like, oh, you know, I'll just jump in with my old gear. And it's like, why am I getting slaughtered? And it's just like, really crazy so i have been focusing on building a lot of different sets and trialing different weapons like i've never played lance before in my life and now i can't get enough of it it's so fun yeah um so it's awesome uh Matto, are you I tempted played... to jump back in hearing that maybe do, do you reckon they'll do another do update this the big portal opens up and all and comes out is mario oh, pokemon please. holy yeah, shit no they're not gonna let first... you kill a pokemon uh, no, as yeah, your companion, you wouldn't really kill it. Well, like you, you, you capture you're gonna be, it. You're going to be taking it on, and then yeah, it'll be like the Witcher thing, like somehow Ash or uh, what's that Arceus Legends, or whatever. Right. Like you know, they're going back in time. Whatever that character is, will probably like jump through time and be like, "What am I doing here?" And there'll be like a Rayquaza 
and that'll give you like sweet armor or something. Like it'll fly away, but it'll like be like it'll a, leave all its shit. Like like a bushi where it leaves chunks of it and you can carve the chunks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Then. You're not that really works. killing killing Pokemon, and I mean, it wouldn't they be hard to They send you a giant Pikachu, and you got to go beat the shit out of it. I mean, your your uh, your Pelicos will probably be able to get like Pikachu armor or something like that. Would be really cool. Uh, but I mean, the possibilities here of crossover events with Capcom. Well, they've really teased cool. it too in the the latest Monster Hunter Direct thing. Yeah, I think the next wave of some of stuff is crossover content. Crossover content with. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Monster Hunter Stories, so their first oh, crossover okay. event. Oh no, no, no there was like, something before that. No, to promote. Oh, I thought it was just to promote their their game, but probably. Um, but anyway, Monster Hunter. Oh, so I've also been playing uh, Diddy Kong Country Two or Donkey Kong Country Two. Nice. Diddy Kong Country. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but I've never played Diddy's it. Diddy's Conquest. Yeah, because I was like. Oh, I've heard that people like say that Donkey Kong Country is good, but there are better games in that franchise. And I'm like, and playing who? Like, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Well, I'm going to give it a, you know. Diddy's Conquest is the best three. of the lot. What? Is this, is this two? Number two, yeah. It's the best Maybe. of the lot. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So You're I in was for a like, treat. I was iffy on saying that because you looked at me like, um, mm, thank no, you no, no, no. There was there was like a bit of pride <laughs> just bubbling up inside. I think it was, it was, I think it was a bit unconcerned what you were going to say if it was good or if it was average or okay. No, it, it, oh, it is. Ooh. It's it's good. It's different. Um, I like it. I don't love Donkey Kong. Like I always wanted to play as Diddy Kong, and so this is just this is your chance. That, so, um. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, what else? I played a little bit of Total War again, getting uh, good at like modding and, well, not modding myself, but like running mods and stuff like that. Found a very useful thing. Like it was like called like Total War Mod Manager. So you can set up profiles and stuff and it just makes it much easier. And it's not even like stuff that changes the game completely. It's just stuff to make things easier for you like a better camera mod and you know be- nicer looking photos and stuff you know enjoy the game aesthetically because i was always super against mods but there are certain things that you're like oh that's why you mod it to make that better for you you know a better experience in general um oh and my last game my last game is a great white buffalo that has great escaped me for almost two years now great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. But, um, <laughs> Uh, Nino Cooney. Yes. I got onto it. I started playing it because I'm like, you know what? The I first am one, loving right? Monster Hunter. It is, yeah, the first one. No, I jumped to the second one to be like, well, they're oh, not crass. They're this not is... connected, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's anime, Paul. Yeah. You can't just jump into the second one and go, I know exactly what's going on. No idea. So, um, no, so I started playing it because I was like, as much as I thoroughly am enjoying monster hunter i do need a break from just the, the grind and that's okay like i've put in over 120 hours now or something like that so yeah that's, Rocky. <laughs> yeah i know i i like that game a lot um yeah and nino kuni what a system what a brilliant brilliant system battle systems great storytelling's great art styles are phenomenal everything in this game made me has made me go why hasn't this appeared in more things? I mean, it's literally gameplay is basically like, Pokemon. Yeah, but it's a better version of Pokemon. Oh, for sure. I won't argue that. It's like that is so much cooler. That's all I've wanted from Pokemon for so long now. Like, and I really do hope this Legends of Arceus, oh, Arceus or whatever Legends, it's called. Yeah. I hope they have something like this involved in it. Like, I don't even care if like you know, you've got that wild setup and you. Thing, but then you go into the battle and you know you got to run around it's like throw balls and sticks beat pokemon with stick i don't know whatever <laughs> but hero from monster hunter comes in and you slaughter really it. Trying, to, cool. trying to use a stick it's super effective <laughs> well it doesn't what's that um the, oh wait no he, he just think he just throws the pokeball um i was like detective pikachu where like the, the guy tries to catch a cubone and it's like he just fails miserably. Like, 
that's what I loved about that that movie. Like that it showed you that not everybody could handle a, a Pokemon. Like he clearly couldn't. It's like, man, wouldn't it just suck to be one of the few people that would like sucked at doing the thing that everybody else in the entire world can do like, easily entirely entire world is based around being partners of the Pokemon and there you are like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no oh my god completely off topic this it's fantastic Nino Cooney it was on the Switch love it on the Switch love being able to just take it out handheld doing whatever unfortunately I'm not doing that I have computer screen meow and my second computer screen meow so I've taken out the HDMI cord from the back of my computer yes, and put it into good. my Switch. So now I've just got the two. And I was like, man, this sucks. I need sound. And then I realized, oh, yeah, headphones. Oh, yeah, little Astro Box thingy, pre-mixer. So it's like, oh, glorious, perfect, wonderful sounds. And, yeah, everything's right in the world. So it's great that we're in current crappy conditions for anybody that's in the... Victorian. Yeah, if you're in Victoria, we're dealing with lockdown at the moment. Yeah. Anyone who's not in Victoria, we're dealing with a lockdown at the moment. So Snap it's... seven day. We'll see if it's seven days. <laughs> let's not let's not may even bring up any more than I think. Yeah, we don't want to jinx it. Goes, one way or the other. If it does go any further, this is just my I mean, we're supposed to talk about this at the end of the day, but having watched Mass Effect get played, I was like It's the perfect wow. lockdown game, right? my God, that looks phenomenal. That looks like they've fixed so many issues, like holding a sniper rifle and not going, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, anybody that is listening to that, actually, you don't even have to worry about it. You know, you, you, you know exactly you what happened. Effect, right. You know exactly what's going on. And if you don't, just watch a video. Just watch a, a side-by-side -side comparison on YouTube right now. Shit, I'll even upload one. I'll <laughs> Just put Damo's Twitter coming up. Fucking um but yeah no so uh i watched that get played and that made me go far oh, out yeah. these games are incredible and i need them in my life yeah i'm pr I'm pretty keen to like i've got the leg uh Flat legendary co collection but i've had too much else to to play so it's yeah, kind of well i was just gonna buy the ea access for like a oh, month yeah. or so and then just like play it through that because it's like 20 bucks you know Three months, three games. I could do that. Should work. Matter, I mean, you're if up. We're stuck. If we're stuck in lockdown, I mean, one month, three games, pretty easy. For oh yeah. One month, three games. <laughs> Is it doable? Probably. For fifteen bucks. <laughs> for a gamer, yes. For a non-gamer, no. Mm. Matter, what are you playing, playing with FIFA. your with your lockdown few days so far and? Well, I know all the other shit. Just the the other twenty seven days. Well, my first game was the one I was playing last month that I had so much fun with, which was Shadow of War, oh, yeah. as I named it, Shadow of War. <laughs> I have you beaten it? I don't know. I gave up. I think I've. I think I finished it. I don't know. I don't what care. Do That's a worry. Think? Oh well, it God. got to the epilogue. It got to the epilogue chapter part. And I thought, "Yep, that will do me," because you had to, in that act or whatever, you had to go and defend your stupid tower things ten Shit. times. I'm like, "Nah, not happening." Yeah, I, I got I got sick of that just throughout the the main experience. So I didn't even make it to the the epilogue. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing out on much. No, I'll just jump on Oof. YouTube at some point. Just watch the ending and go, oh yeah, cool. And it's a shame because Shadow, I, Shadow of Mordor, Mordor. Yeah, Shadow of Mordor was the original one. That was my favourite game of 2015. Yeah, it was but a good game. I don't Shadow know what Mordor the hell happened. Between... Too much. They, too well, much they, of the same thing. I reckon the same I did thing. the they same thing. They showed a microtransaction and everything. Like it was just, the balance was way out of whack. Otherwise oh, it was a good game. Balance. You want to talk about balance oh here we go we'll get oh back. have we'll, you been no, doing we'll refit finally no 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 that's 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 unfit no that's not a <laughs> balance but yeah but i think the thing with shadow <laughs> of war is just the same mission uh, time after time no, yeah. again i was just oh rescue these people like, no i don't want to rescue them. i've rescued about 20 other people i don't want to rescue more people for and this one sucks i don't want to rescue them 
one sucks. I don't want to rescue them. I, was, I don't want to play this game anymore, which I did. And now we move on to the game of Unbalanced, oh, which is <laughs> The Order 1886. Oh. Uh... I wouldn't say it's a... Oh, it's one of those games. It's one of those games either you love it or hate it. I can understand why people like it. The story's good. Don't get me wrong on that. The look of it's great. The combat, if you actually do anything, is good. It's just a shame you don't good. get to ever do it ever. Now, the problem is there is more walking than there is combat. I reckon. Walking. I reckon it was a good twenty minutes with where all I did was just walk, and nothing happened. Just walked. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. You know, in what is also a pretty short game, like you can finish it in five hours, five hours. four or five hours. Hell, five you can hours. get the platinum in like five hours. So you you would know, wouldn't you? Well, <laughs> I basically got ninety five percent of the trophies on my first run, and then I went back and collected one or two collectibles, and it was over. Wow, oh, God. So yeah, I just I I think I do laugh at it and think, oh yeah, we're going to make a sequel out of this. Um, maybe you should have made a game first, then. <laughs> Sequel yeah, to the movie. Don't worry about the sequel. It's a video game. It's like the underpants gnomes plan. Step one, make game. Step two, step three, sequel. <laughs> and they just forgot. I don't know the, the, the game. Bit. Like, I mean, the story's good. It got it got exciting, like for the last hour. And I thought, oh, this is getting good, and then it finished. I thought, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing I paid not so much money for it. If I paid full price that game when it came out, Ooh, I would yeah. be very angry. A lot of people were. Sorry, as I try and speak but. through a yawn there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people were pretty angry back in time. <laughs> <laughs> I say, if there was ever a remake of the game, tubes. that would definitely be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that was an episode yeah. recently, wasn't it? I was talking about update. Uh, sorry, games that could get remade last week. and fixed up. Yeah, was that last, last week? week? That was like, oh no, it was two uh, weeks. Two sorry. weeks ago, because yeah, Damo wasn't with us. Damo was not here. I last was week. not. We spoke uh, about Spanky's quest last week, Damo. Are you aware? Yeah, I saw Ready? the I saw the tweet. I was like, oh yeah, this podcast happens. On, you know, <laughs> if you don't do it, seriously, no, if you don't do it, you almost forget. That, like we do this weekly like it just feels like we do these like in a monthly basis like they don't feel like it doesn't feel like it takes up any time of my like my week you know what i mean like it's just yeah. like damo's there scrolling through his tweets going oh what's patch doing this week oh yeah cool <laughs> just carry on all oh, right i wasn't on this one off i go it's like oh <laughs> what do we do I, for that I, one yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I remember speaking about Spanky's Quest. This. Wait. <laughs> Nintendo? Of course I talk Nintendo. I don't remember about Nintendo. Yeah, we shouted you out in the last, like, minute demo, but we didn't make up an excuse for where you were. Yeah, that's, that's, I was half expecting, like, a tweet underneath what you guys have written and been like, yeah, and, and Gamer went back to his home planet or something like that. <laughs> I, I have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. What they did with that oh, person from the Mandalorian. By the way, I've, I needed... I, sorry, this is a segue. So, Paul, anytime we do a segue, I need you to edit in, oh, right? Shit. Just a gif across the entire screen or whatever it is of the chimpanzee on a segue. <laughs> right? <laughs> that video, chimpanzee on a segue, chimpanzee on a segue. <clears throat> I just had that. Because then we do so many segues. We actually need something to signify to the people that are watching it. Like, okay, I'm just going to skip past. Okay, there we go. I'll go back in. Like, just... <laughs> so, so what was the segue? Well, that, the segue was that Matto was talking and I brought up that we needed a segue moment for a segue. <laughs> right? <laughs> Matto, what else did you playing outside of the I was, order about, I was thinking about that guy, on the, the camera guy on the segue who fell over at the MCG oh, at once. the cricket, yeah. <laughs> The cricket. <laughs> now, next game was oh, shit. MLB <laughs> The Show. Oh, MLB, right? Eh? Yeah, because I finally downloaded. And then I could you play like Game Pass, Korean. the free version on yes. Game Pass? Yep. I wasn't paid for it. It's a good thing it was on Games Pass because it's definitely not a game I would pay for. No. <laughs> I wouldn't pay for it. Because even with a simulated game, it is still a 
boring game. Oh, yeah. Because all I want to do is just hit it out of the park. That's all I want to do. Oh, MLB. It's like yeah, you baseball. Major, Major League Major Baseball. League. Major, League. Okay. Major League batting. Major League batting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There must be like some Let's kind segue of for that. <laughs> is that about all we need to say say about MLB? Like it's just it's shit. Well, it's not shit. Yeah, but it's boring. I can I can understand why it's on Gaze Pass because to get people to try and buy it because baseball Xbox outside Xbox of America Sony. and all that too. It's not a naughty dog game, so let's just all relax, okay? Yeah. Yeah, take a, take a deep breath. They got a baseball game. Didn't. They didn't get The Last of Us Part 2. They didn't get Crash... Oh, wait, they did get Crash Bandicoot. They, they didn't get crash. whatever... They got Spyro. What's that Uncharted. They got Imagine Kingdom Hearts. Oh, imagine if Uncharted. Yakuza? Yakuza used to be they a PlayStation Yakuza, game. Yeah. Which I did play on the PlayStation. That's my... I don't know if that's a segue, but that was my next game, Yakuza 3. Chimp. Chimp? Get I'm, him not, on there. I'm not putting the chip in. I'll be prepared for next time. I might have, might have the chip <laughs> Yeah. I had to try and finish that game really, really quickly because there was another game I really wanted to play. So I oh, got hell. through that as quick as I could whilst again distracted. So it probably I probably could have finished it quick. I just got a bit sidetracked. So game. is this the Yakuza one? That, like the a dragon? Dragon fisty one? Yeah. Or an old one? one where you... Oh, it's three. In the, the remastered collection. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, everything's basically been remastered or remade at this point, so. Yeah, that was a good one. Fun. Then finally, the final game. Damo was talking about before. <laughs> and I thought, what game to play <laughs> on? Oh, shit, we got a prop. On this bad boy. He's got a Series X. Got my Series X from Telstra. Fell off the back of a truck. No, I just went in there. I just went. I went. I uh, went in the Telstra shop. Asked, "Do you have any of them?" He said, "Come see me at the back later on." <laughs> Not a clock. Put a blindfold on. He's just having to suck it through this hose. I just went that back street we always talk about. Just the brick with the old brick road. Just went down there. He just <laughs> just opened up his van door, and there was doing? a. What just, are you oh, doing? He's just getting bricks he's, everywhere. He's got, he's got his cooler. He's got his bar fridge. Is that a, is this, that a bar for it? This is the warmest thing in this room right now. Oh, this Xbox it's keeping the place look, insulated. If we're if we're flashing off incredible shit, like yeah. Oh, where's oh? oh that's good for your back. Close enough. Have you seen that, man? Like, look at this. That's good for your back. Future of future of gaming. But also, look how many the, buttons this thing has. The sharp corners on the Xbox might be good for our back too. Oh, you tried rolling back. on it, Matter? <laughs> have you tried the tried the roll test yet? No, I can't say I have. <laughs> Neither have I. I don't know if I want to. I mean, it's got grippy feet, thing, so you could lay it on your side. The one thing it. I haven't done yet is um, I haven't vaped into it yet. Oh, yeah, good. As everyone else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done I that yet. That. Get a christen but, it, mate. What, by rolling on it or vaping in it? Every console needs something. Choose. Between people licking Switch cartridges and vaping through their Xbox oh. Series Xs. Like, oh. every console oh, has to have its own. And what about the PlayStation? Um, By the way, nice headphones. You try to connect to the internet. Oh, the headphones? Alienware ones that, uh, I don't know, they found their way to me somehow. Your I'm secret the your secret shed? <laughs> that yeah, Telstra. Yeah. That Telstra. That Telstra guy again. Did you see <laughs> him too? <laughs> I saw him as well. Maybe so, I think hey, I You want some headphones? <laughs> you want the good kind? Come see me, nine o'clock. Come. But the game I played on, the first game I played on my Xbox Series X, I thought, I played a lot of dud games, so I thought, why not play a quality, a good game? And that game was Mass Effect. Oh, the, le uh, the Legendary Edition. The Legendary Edition. Nice. Ooh. Oh, man, all I can say is, I have played the game for a good six, seven years, and it's still better than half the games that come out. In those seven years. You're playing Mass Effect, you're starting like with one and going to make your way through? Number yep. one. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, it's such, it's such a good game. And like you said with the sniper, Dave, I was just thinking there playing the game going, I don't remember using the sniper that much. I'm trying to think out why until you 
Yeah, that's it. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, now yeah. I remember. So is it still messy? Somebody reminded me in the remaster or the remake or no, 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 it's perfect. perfect. Still, you can just you can just aim down there, take your time, take a deep you breath, and then shoot them shot. in the head. You can hip shot with a sniper now. Nice, fantastic. Like because yeah, <laughs> I just I, I, yeah, I was reminded of it too. Like my mates, like, hey, look at this, and I'm like, you yeah, don't get it. Like I couldn't remember it. And he's like, and then he showed me a video of Mass Effect One, and it's just like he's like locking on, and then you take a shot, and it's like I remember now, <laughs> yeah. And then you're still like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? You're like cybernetically enhanced. I feel like it's it's only like, like as I started to like you know, play pretend there that I actually remembered the whole thing, like by doing it with it's my hands. Back, I thought, holy flashbacks. shit, that's that's how like, it happened in game, right? Oh my god. Oh. I would have finished the game before this episode, but for some weird reason when fighting the final boss, which is Saren, it decided to go mute on me. And then, I don't know why, but good thing I saved just before. Oh, good. There, because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to save the council or just let him die. Tough choice. Are you making the same decisions that you made when you played him the first time, or are you trying to do things a bit differently, oh. or are you just trying to do whatever feels right no. at the time? It doesn't matter, because I played... Mass Effect like that many times previously that doesn't really matter what I do because I've done it all. Yeah, okay. I've I've let Ash die. I've killed the Rachni Queen. I destroyed the Genophage thing and all that. Because uh, I knew in the end it didn't really matter. So well, I could yeah. just do whatever the hell I want. Three magical lights to walk towards. That general, was his name a Dina or whatever he is? Wait, yeah. you did all the, you did I just, all the I've been... I've been a complete dick to him this whole time because I know in the end I'm going to shoot him. So I don't care what I say to him. But, what? But, what? But, but, you're going to kill the universe, Matt. You need allies. No, I keep a good, I keep my companions. I just don't care you about You keep your companions, but there's like a, you need a galaxy <laughs> to help you fight the Reapers, regardless of how yeah. shit the ending is. Yeah, just. Save somebody. Ignore, yeah, that's what I'm doing, yeah. I'm ignoring, I'm ignoring the humans and going to the rest of the colonies because they're better. They're more, they're more exciting. Who are you going to kill? Wait, who did who? you kill? Aiden or Ashley? Ash. Oh. No, I killed Aiden. Kaden. Oh, yeah, all right, good man. Kill us. Here's why. Here's why. Yes, Why? Ash is a racist, but I got to yell at her for stop being a racist, so I thought, that's great. I had one conversation with Caden, and for some reason he thought we had something going. I'm female shepherd, by the way, I should say. Oh, yeah, okay. After one conversation, oh. he thought, he just oh. thought, oh, there's something between oh. us. I thought, the oh, audacity. you're, fighting. you're Dad, dying, mate. Dad, My decision's dead. done. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll come back as a force ghost in three to haunt you now. <laughs> Bust in the door, bottle of whiskey in his hand. <laughs> I'm back, fuckers. It's like that Patrick Swayze thing, ghost. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Keen to see how your story plays out, man. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Keep us updated. Oh, yeah. So after this, after this update, so I'm going back and hopefully it won't go to the again. Galaxy. I'm not going to destroy the galaxy. I'm just destroying Earth. I don't care. <laughs> rest of the galaxy, fine. Earth, it's the, a shit. Way, way I say it. Well, the way I say it, Earth's already going downhill anyway, so. That's fair. What's so, left to say? Well, will be fine. So what, What? like, sorry, it can be completely a weird question to ask. Go on. But like, um, the Xbox, like, what, like, what is it? Because I don't know if there's models of Xbox or whatever, the Series X. What, what does Telstra give you? Just so... Uh, you can get both. You can get the uh, digital one, which is no disc. Yeah, Series S or the Series X. Series S. Oh, so the X only has like one... They both only have one edition of themselves. Like there's no... Yeah, like... yeah. Oh, cool. Because I wasn't sure, you know, I think it was like when the PlayStation first came out, there was like 500 gig and a terabyte or whatever. You know no. what I mean? Uh, no, the yeah, just... PS5 is just the uh, same deal. It's it's just that there's a digital and a, and a physical the hard drive. Uh, oh, the SSDs fucking... are the same. I mean, the, 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 you know, I, I normally I normally try and kick Xbox around a little bit, but like the the whole thing with Telstra is fantastic too. You're basically not paying anything more for the whole thing. Like you you get your yeah, Xbox, you get your same. two years of Game Pass, and it's it works out to be basically the same as if you bought it off the shelf. 
plus two years of Game Pass. So it's pretty good. Fair enough. That's yeah. cool. All I did was just like, you got it? He's like, yeah. yeah. The boxes was pointing out. He said, yeah, there's one in that one. I thought, really? It's like, yeah. Yoink. It's like, <laughs> it's a good that. thing you asked because they came in the other day. I thought, I'll take one. Yeah, what does it work out to be per month then? Because it's over two years, right? 46 a month. That's not too bad. Yeah. Don't have to worry about it. I mean, it. that's pretty decent. That's pretty cool. I mean, most people pay like 120 bucks for a phone bill. And what entertainment yeah. do you get out of that? Zero. Well, YouTube access. What's yeah, the phone on YouTube? Most amount of YouTube videos actually are played on mobile devices. They would be. That's people being stupid. But um, Matt, Matt's point's good. I mean, you're basically spending like a dollar fifty a day and getting a, a shiny new console. So it's pretty good. While not fighting for the console, just the console. casually walk out and go, just running around the local town going, I got one. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> so, I would, so, so I would just jump to me and stole it. No, and then they, they realised that it was yes. an Xbox and not a PS5 and gone, oh, fucking take it. They threw yeah, it back so to you. Use it as a back massager, all right? No, they'll do a lap around the block and then just throw <laughs> it back at me and drive off. <laughs> okay. I should just disconnect mine here, stick it behind the oh, yeah. back of the chair. And oh, just... What a bone storm. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, barn storm or something? <laughs> no, he wants bone storm, but then he gets the, the golf game. Balls in, <laughs> Balls in parking lot. Do you wish to continue? You have selected. No. You said no. <laughs> wow, well, that's me done. No segue, no done. monkey on a segue. No, no, no need for segues here. Um, so I've reviewed a ton of shit. And so most of my thoughts for most of the games I've played are already fairly well outlined on the site. So like I've got a review for new Pokemon Snap, for Returnal, for... Um, and I'm literally scrolling through the list here to remember, uh, jog my memory of everything I've been playing. Um, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster uh, there's uh, other stuff that I'm playing as well I've been playing near Automata uh, sorry not Automata near Replicant I should say uh, that's kind of the one that I, I took on all these reviews at the same time that's the one that kind of slipped through the cracks time wise so that one's kind of a little bit behind um, but I've been reviewing a ton of stuff <laughs> little and behind yeah <laughs> and, and so like that, that that one I didn't hit embargo and it's been almost a month now and I still haven't hit it so we'll, we'll get it out sooner or later <laughs> they're, they're fine with it it was one of those things that just didn't a few things kind of hit all at once and I was the one on the job uh, including stuff that like is still to come that I, I can't say that I'm playing it so and then I've had little preview opportunities uh, I was like I was able to see some Ratchet and Clank hands off stuff I saw Final Fantasy 7 uh, Integrade uh, footage there like there's been a whole bunch of stuff I've been doing for the that site that sunlight ooh yeah. that sunlight ooh it's magnificent what an what, upgrade yeah, to a game I, I just want ooh, to see if that, that door sunlight. looks better if that door texture looks better that's all that matters what do we want what in Final Fantasy 7 Remake the, the door there's that door texture oh, that okay. looks horrible I looks like it but... looks like it came straight from the original version of the game it looks, um, looks like your wall mine's just plain We'll get there. Oh, oh, he got a little defensive then. Oh, he's oh, waiting little for my soundproofing. This place is going to be great. <laughs> Don't even speak bad words. Yeah, okay. I'm going to Yeah. So one game that I didn't have to review that oh, as I go fucking... Oh, look what you've done. Um, yeah, one game that I have been playing that I didn't have to review was Resident Evil 8 Village. Um... Ooh. tall vampire ladies and horrible massive va uh, werewolves and all those sorts of things <laughs> game's scaring the shit out of me um, and I haven't even gotten to the bit that everyone is saying is infinitely scarier than uh, anything that Resident Evil 7 threw at people so wait like I got told that people aren't even that scared of this game because Returnal was much more scary uh, Returnal's no he... Returnal's not scary um <laughs> they, they they try and lean into kind of some alien style like as in alien the movie um style yeah. sort of spooks at points but it's not it's not a horror game at all like the you go no, into this house not... and they kind of they try and ski with like just the it's atmosphere tense. but they don't yeah it's tense and that's mostly because of the gameplay yeah. not because of the um act, like any actual horror stuff like it's just because yeah, failure um, well, is that's... so costly like if you die and you're in that sixth and final biome where you're going all the way back to square one and that's maybe three hours of gameplay lost is yeah. Returnal, yeah, because those those save points are quality. Yeah, if they could 
perhaps just introduce a save game mode. That'd be that'd be great. And stop rolling out updates all the time, so that people who you know follow their advice, which is you know put the game into rest mode, so that you can you know pick up later on if you need to, only to then lose it because they've rolled out an update which forces the game to restart. Like that's that's ridiculous. But anyway, the game is amazing, but it's got some little rough edges that need to be fixed up. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, Resident Evil Eight though, yeah, like I haven't gotten to the bit that everyone's talking about is just completely terrifying like scarier than anything maybe Resident Evil's thrown at people full stop apparently it's just pitch black all the time like all the time everywhere and apparently it's just hor- horrific oh so it's like that oh, Game yeah, of Thrones just, episode I retweeted I retweeted <laughs> the image if you, if you go through my billions of retweets there's one from images that precede unfortunate events and there's a dark dark corridor and if you know if you've played Resident Evil Village then you know. the thing. I haven't even played it I've just watched this guy who I really I don't even remember his name now I really feel unfortunate for because I jumped on Twitch and I was just like I'm going to randomly watch somebody play this guy was incredible he did a really good job like I think he played it like in three days it was awesome but anyway uh, I did watch the scene where that people talk about and it's like what's the scene is this the one where he gets hooked in the hand no. No, the hand injury happens at the very beginning of the game. Not even that bad. You lose a few fingers. Oh. But in the Japanese version, oh, no, apparently you don't lose any fingers. No, he gets hooked up on some hooks. Well, he makes, oh, well, he makes the gang. <laughs> he gets hooked up on some hooks. No, I don't know. I haven't even gotten to the castle yet. That's how early I am into it. I just dealt with a whole uh, bunch yeah. of like werewolves at the, beginning of, in, at the beginning of the village, and there was way too many of them to deal with, and I just panicked, and I was running around, which, as it turns out, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. But, um... That was yeah, I'm I'm struggling, and my only opportunities are during during the night, so it's not not ideal atmosphere. Lockdown is going to be perfect. I'm going to finish played. Redacted, you've... and then I'm going to play Resident Evil while I'm supposed to be teaching. You've played you've played Last of Us. Yes, The Last of Us was much more scary in that, that like giraffe was terrifying. Light, <laughs> light lights go out like. You know, you hear a giant freaking thing coming for you. You sense the ground. There's a bunch of things running. Like, you know, what I'm talking about, it's the... Uh, Maybe know, I'm just getting clicker. my own head then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not that bad, man. Like, seriously. Outside you can, of that if, one if you, sequence. If you, take a lot of, if you take a lot of time to look at your environment in Resident Evil, like, you, you can see a majority of the enemies hanging out. Look, I think a little bit of it, like I was trying to play it off the back of having reviewed a lot of these games and I think like it was it was scare, you know, it was doing enough in terms of the scares, not necessarily horrific stuff, but doing enough in terms of the scares and I think combined with the fact that I'd reviewed so many games in a little while, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with it where you just like, I just don't want to play games at all now. Like just, I'm not feeling the itch to play games oh, full stop. Right. I can't yeah, find no, something yeah. that kind of speaks to me and I think I was kind of having that issue off the back of all the reviews, so... That's that's my um. That's a horror my game wasn't going to help me get back in, so. That's majority of my. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Definitely not your up your alley, but like, yeah. Have no. you played Far Cry? Which one? I don't know. Which other thing is it? A mongoose or something that keeps attacking you? I can't remember. Oh, this yeah. Badger. The honey badger. Wolverine. The honey badger honey is badger. in uh, Far Cry Starful. Four, I think. That's just like it's, it's a monster. It's horrible. You got the eagle that just attacks you. Don't know which one that's in. They're all the same to me. Yeah, they're all the same. Far Cry 6, we've seen, seen gameplay recently. Looks like it's the same. Except there's a dog called Chorizo with a, that's in a wheelchair, and that's adorable. That's a DLC thing, isn't it? No, no, no. Uh, no, there's different skins for it via DLC. But uh, little sausage dog in a wheelchair called Chorizo is the best thing ever. Uh, yeah. Damn, go go look it, it up if you haven't already. It's adorable. What's it attacking to What's what's it attack to do with cuteness or something? Like, oh. Apparently, it's a distraction while you go around and kill it versus the other companion you can have, which is a fucking crocodile. (laughs) It just comes waltzing out and just chomps them. What? Yeah, I'm going to Sausage Dog. I'm taking the Sausage Dog every every time. time. As long as there is DLC outfit that I can wear, like. like, As um, a hot dog. uh, No, (laughs) dogs. The dog needs an outfit to be in a hot dog bun. I just need to be a giant bottle of salt. That's it. Give me, give me some Heinz ketchup. Like we're done, or even some mustard for some there. Eh? But yeah, I mean that's that's kind of it. Like, uh, like I said, majority of the games that I've kind of had to discuss 
I've already done so in a fair bit of depth. Like I've played a lot of real, really awesome games recently, which is which is great. But just kind of, I'm, there's one more that I'm playing for review at the moment that I can't discuss. But um, does it rhyme else? with? I'm not going to answer. Does it, rhyme with, does it rhyme with golf? Oh, I wish it was Horizon. Horizon's still months away. Yeah, I saw somebody like showing stuff off on YouTube the other day. Oh, because there was a, there was a whole bunch of gameplay they showed for the new one the other oh, day. Okay. Big state of play. Because I was you like, now, you now get like, a oh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Paul gonna get on, definitely get on that. Oh, oh it so looks you, amazing. Your, your game. Your, <laughs> wait, you say it rhymes with goal. It no, definitely true. doesn't rhyme with goal. Golf Ziggler <laughs> dating simulator. Yeah. He's but yeah, that's that's dog. many. What, what do you guys see yourselves playing over the course of next month? Obviously, Mato more Mass Effect. Demo? Mass Effect. Two well, and three. okay. If I don't know, I don't know who's running the state at the moment. I don't even know who's running the country because he's gone. Well, I believe about, it's probably. the arm um, chimp on the Segway. Uh, well, <laughs> if Segway guy comes out in some North Face gear this week, all right, I'll be like, all right. Not going to be playing Panic. much this month. I'll, I'll just be on to Nino Cooney, uh, Monster Hunter, more D- Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, whatever the fucking Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, Donkey Kong. And uh, oh, I, I probably finishing up that Pokemon stuff. Um, yeah, and that'll be about it. But if if he comes out in a suit, Right, we know all of that bad, bad news is coming. The Dave Milner cheat sheet. It's uh, it'll be I'll be old buying the old uh, EA Pass on the PlayStation and smash it out. Mass Effect. It's a Mass Effect. As well. Nice. But yeah, Nino Cooney looks like it's gonna eat up a lot of my time. And oh yeah, it's still long game. I'm enjoying. Well, yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm playing it with a guide, so I don't miss items like. Not like a guide telling me what to do, when to do things. It's just like, have you picked up the following items in this area? So like, it's forcing me to explore. Like, wait, I missed that. Where's that? So you know, just being a JRP, uh, JRPG, JRPG yeah. title, but completionist, grind. and just take it's your time. Really good. It's really good if you grind, if anything. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, that's that'll be eating up a lot of time. And but playing it's made me go, oh, I might need play something like this next as well like I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to look for actually I think Bravely Default 2 will be out yeah that's out no it's already out yeah oh it's it's already out it's been out for a few months a few months where have you been came out in Feb oh I know oh truth stuck in the Monster Hunter world yeah it was Monster Hunter yeah that's it that's it you were down the well yeah RPGs on the down that hole so Matto yeah for you pretty much Mass Effect and some Mario Golf. Oh, yeah, that's oh, this Mario... month, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually. It might be the first Mario Golf game that I go and play. Oh, you're missing out. I don't know. No, what I'm was the last game. one? GameCube. Uh... Or somewhere. I don't yeah, know. I'm not too sure. But I'm excited for it. For me, looking forward to playing Ratchet and Final Fantasy VII Integrade. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll add some golf in there as well. But Mass Effect is definitely one that I want to start finding some time for. I'm just need, it's like finding that window of time where I can kind of sit and really commit. Yeah, and get my yeah. get my there'll sniping be, there'll going. There will be none of there will be none of that. Good, because they've fixed it. Well, that's where we'll I wrap things up. Pay then. To it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. All the buttons, oh. all the buttons down below. Demo, go for it. Before we do this wrap up, Paul, you gotta tell me what the hell like everybody was talking about Dragon Quest. Why is everyone talking about Dragon Quest? Oh, they had a they had a big event where they announced a whole bunch of titles. So Dragon Quest twelve got revealed, uh Dragon Quest Treasures or something, which focuses on characters from the most recent one, eleven. They announced a remake of Dragon Quest three in that HD two D engine that Octopath uses. Um and then a whole bunch of stuff for Dragon Quest ten. Which is the online one, which never made it outside of Japan. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. So wait, what was the one with the Octopath Traveler thing? Dragon Quest Three is being remade in that engine. Mm. Or so maybe in that visual style, I should say. I shouldn't say engine, but yeah. Um. 
So like, share, subscribe, all the buttons down below, hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live. That includes more episodes of patched Player 2 plays, like Game Review, Game School, and a whole bunch more. Visit the website, player2.net.au, for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, patched the Player 2 Pixelcast, and Dev Diary. We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au, kicking a few bucks at the lower tiers early access, higher tiers monthly episode exclusives. And finally, there's Twitter, Demo Week can be found. I really want to change it to demo on a segue, but that taco talks. <laughs> Matto. I will change my name to Matto on a segue. Paul James I don't know, Games. Feel. Paul James Games for me uh, on a segue. At Player Two AU uh, for the website, and this is the first time in a while Matto hasn't been changing his picture in the last in the last few seconds. So look forward to more of that next no, week. I didn't come up with anything. Yeah. Th- thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next week.